Zero percent? Really? Why do I not believe you, especially after seeing... Oh, hey, Bowser. Whoa! Oh! Oh! Oh, hey... Hey, Bowser. Hey, Big Bowser! Dude! Oh, hammer's up my butt. Yes! No, Bowser Jr. Da! Dude, Bowser Jr. is on crack, bro. I cannot believe he got that stun off. Okay. Okay. Bowser Jr. is down, so we are clear to go here. Come on, big boy. Yeah. That's right. What? Oh, come on, bro. Come on, bro. You think I'm gonna fall for that? <laughs> Maybe the 0% meant percent of people who will enjoy this level. Got him. Moving on to stage two with 98. Japanese level, okay. Long title, new soup, triple jump, extravaganza. Oh, no. Where was the indicator, dog? Oh boy. Oh, back it up, we're trying again. Back it up, we're trying again. All right, here we go. Oh, the blocks were the indicators. I, dude, I can't see anything. I'm sorry you had indicators, bro, and I didn't see it, man. I didn't see it, but I see them now, so I take it back. That one is definitely a twirl. Whoa! Oh my god, no checkpoint. Dang it, dude. No. I don't, I tried, I thought I had to do triple jump there, but I don't think you actually had to in retrospect. Nope. Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay, that was, <laughs> you don't have to triple jump all of them. You know, not a requirement. Oh my god, that's not a triple jump. Man, I get really confused if I have to do one or not. Okay, all right. No! <laughs> I'm crying, dude. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Why, man? Ah! Ah! Oh, I got a triple jump right there. Nice. Come on, man. Don't you mess with me. Show me the money. That last triple jump is poo poo, man. Ah, oh, you butthole. Whoa, dude, it's that conveyor momentum, bro. You get different momentum all the time, depending on how long you're on the conveyor belt. Okay, so for the final triple jump, the expectation is that you jump fast enough that you don't gather any excess momentum from the conveyor belt. If you get even a little bit, you're gonna have a bad time. Moving on to stage three with 88, Japanese. It's a beautiful, beautiful day to be in Japan, isn't it? Oh goodness. Well, you hate to see that. 
There we go. Looking good. I like how he has the little uh, thing here so you can try again if you mess up the shell jump. That's very nice. Very generous of you, mister. Little spring drop. They'll choose your destiny right here. I mean, I don't know why you would ever choose a regular helmet over a spiny helmet. So, I'm gonna go ahead and take the spiny helmet. Hmm. Either way, it doesn't seem like it matters much. And that is it, dude. That is literally it. I knew it, dude. I knew it. I knew it, man. What a freaking jerk. Oh, my goodness. What is going on here, man? Can I just... Ah, the bottom's open. That is just rude. Moving on to stage four, will it be another Japanese level? Nope, Mario Kart Airship Circuit by Gilmore. Wow, Gilmore the Moustached Man. Hitting us up with a Mario Kart level. Looks like a good time, I'm not gonna lie. What the heck? Oh, you don't wanna do that. Where am I going, am I going, where am I supposed to? Gilmore, where am, am I supposed to go, dude? Super Mario Kart is just like one of the best games. You know what I mean? Like, damn, that's a good game. It looks like you're gonna get recycled back through here too. After we hit a P-switch or something. Okay, here's the P-switch. Oh, because like multiple laps, Mario Kart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, Gilmore, I dig it, man. Oh. 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 Crap. Not looking good for time. Not looking good for time. You gotta make it fast through here, too, to make it before the P-Switch timer wears off. I wonder how, how tight the timer is. Um... <laughs> Thumbs up, Mario. Thumbs up. I like to believe if that ever happened to me and it was all over, I would just be like... <laughs> One last thumbs up, you know what I mean? In the door at 21, we improved by one second. I'll certainly take it. Dude, I made the same mistake again. that second P-switch. Oh, I took the bottom path and I regret it. I still didn't make it. Timer's hella tight, man. Like the whole thing, the whole level is very tight. Lap two looks like you need to take bottom to make, make time. This part's all automatic. Boom, boom. That's so slow. It's so slow. Wait. Oh, uh, never mind. I was thinking, can I go back in the door? But you can't because the door is up in the air. See how the door is up in the air? Not gonna work. I can't figure out how to make that timer the second time around, dude. Everything's so slow. Actually, you know what? I do have an idea. So catch the conveyor belt, lap one. Up top, conveyor belt. That's what you want. Lap two. Okay, I, I know what I need to do. I know what I need to do. We need to skip one of the sets of springs coming up. So like right here, skip that one. Yes, that's it. That has to be it. Yep, 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 yep. Oh, the timer is so tight. Damn, dude. Wow. Jump the conveyor belt. Oh. What? There we go, got it, got it, got it, got it. Hell yeah. Moving on to stage five with a 75. So far, so good. 
Back to Japan. Had a little detour, now we're right back at it. Let's go. Bulbasaur climbing a vine. Now you're talking my language. Excuse me. Okay, he doesn't want you to be able to jump because jumping is like an advantage. He wants you to only use the vine. I understand, I guess. Whoa, that is tight, dude. One pixel, dude. Nope. This is actually tough because graphically Bulbasaur... It's hard to tell exactly where his hitbox is. <sighs> you know what I mean? When it comes to the one tile spots, it's a little bit tricky. Ah, I need to save the Bulbasaur too. Dang it. Yeesh. What? No. Okay, it's a little bit favoring the uh, top side for the hitbox. Good lord, man. I get through your stupid challenge and this is how I'm rewarded. Hop! Hmm. Yeah, like his nose is all up in that spike, but that's... That's okay. That's okay. That works. Alright. I'ma do this. Bam. I don't trust anything anything else in this level, so... Yep. Not touching another block unless I have to. Holy crap. Interesting. I see a checkpoint. I see a checkpoint. You can't take damage through here either. You need the power up. Yes. Yes, dude. Yes, 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 yes. Thank you for the checkpoint. You are a kind and generous soul. You kind of suck too. To be honest. Just go, just go, just go, just go. Box is probably a troll, if I had to guess. The goal's right there, dude. Goal is right there. Goal is right there. Bam, let's go. Hell yeah, man. Ah, oh, that's nice. New record, boy. Okay, one more to go. 72, we're looking good, looking strong. Nothing crazy, right? SMW boss rush? Really? Okay, I'm very intrigued because this is Mario Maker 1, right? Where um, they don't have the Koopa Lings, so I'm curious. Oh, I'm actually excited because I feel like we're going to get some creative boss fights instead of freaking Koopa Lang hot garbage. I remember when we saw the Koopalings in Mario Maker 2, like in the preview or whatever. Do you guys remember that? Like, the Mario Maker 2 trailer? We we're like, oh, the Koopalings are gonna be in Mario Maker 2, and we were so excited. And then all we ever got to experience were really terrible boss rush levels with the Koopalings. <laughs> so terrible. Dude, these are like cool custom challenges. Alright, I am super down with this, man. Ah. Oh, they keep respawning. What's the point of killing them? Nice. Okay. 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 Come on. 
Come on. Come on. Okay, okay. Wait, is he recreating Koopa fights? Because that looked like the Wendy fight, right? Um, the first one was like the Roy fight. Yeah, here's Reznor. It's like with a twist though, right? It's like the Koopaling fights with a twist. Like you had to do that one quick. Although I think that's how the original Reznor works as well. The floor is falling away. Okay, so far so good. So far so good, man. I like this. This is pretty cool. This is the big boo. This is the, this is like the ghost house guy. Oh, this one's hella easy. <laughs> that's a little too easy. You can get a pow out of here. Oh, you can't really get a pow out? He knew, dude. He knew. He knew about my cheesy tendencies. Okay, going in the door. And we have Bowser Jr. That was mediocre performance. Now, is he supposed to be replicating the Bowser fight? Because that's what it looks like. Wait. No, here's the actual Bowser. Go ahead him with the bombs. Oh god. Oh god. Oh, those moves were legendary. Why are there breakable blocks over there? Whoa, that was close. What happens if you break? Is there POW in there? Oh, are you kidding me? <laughs> I was doing this the hard way. There's freaking POWs in here. Just freaking die, dude. What's going on here? There we go. Okay. All right. Okay, here we go. Freaking. Is there more? There's another Bowser here. Okay, we got a lot of Bowsers. Looks like, yeah, the, oh my goodness. Dude, would you, would you chill? Get off of me. Ah! Okay, this is terrible, he's so aggressive. He's so aggressive, dude. Ah! I, oh, one more, one more, one more. Got it. Oh my god, that was, Ridiculous. Oh, oh, that was so close. Wait, I could have brought a pal. I could have brought a pal from the other room and killed that one instantly. In retrospect, I wish I would have done that. All right, overall, I, I got a little excited about that level. It ended up being kind of stock because it was just recreations of the SMW fights, but they were still kind of cool, kind of crazy, you know, not too shabby. I dig it. So I gotta tell ya. Wait a minute. Oh, we had a Magic Koopa up here. That, that's kind of random. I think that was the arrow a troll. I thought about doing a mid air, so let's take a look. Yep, all spikes. Only spot that was open was uh, right there. Disgusting. Going back and taking a look at all the levels we played today, I actually don't have any levels that I really want to look under the hood of, except... Wait a minute. What's that? I look at the uh, thumbnails of these levels and I see, like, suspicious looking stuff. What a douche! No way, bro! No way. Are you serious? This, this guy had a dev exit. Is it a dev exit for real? Maybe not. No, nah, maybe a phony dev exit. Is it phony? It's phony. It's phony. I take it back. He's not a douche. He's a wise guy. We got a wise guy here. So he has a fake dev exit, it looks like. I'm pretty sure. Let me just double check. Just, just double checking. Yeah, there's no pipe. There's no exit pipe. So yeah, that that is a fake dev exit. Dirty boy, dirty, dirty boy. 
Yeah, I just look at the uh, thumbnails to see if I see anything like kind of suspicious. I don't see anything else in the other ones. Um. <laughs> yeah, okay. All right, thumbs up, subscribe. Thank you all for watching the video. Hit up my second channels at youtube.com slash Ryu and youtube.com slash at Ryu Shorts. Both links are in the description. Just to keep you up to date on my streaming schedule, currently I stream on TikTok many times a week in the morning usually. Uh, if you want to catch me speed running, I do a lot of Mario 64, Mario Hour, other challenges and stuff. Um, on top of that, we do Twitch once a week at least on Sundays in the afternoon. And last but not least, I'm trying to bring back the once a week stream on my second YouTube channel, uh, which is like variety retro gaming usually. Probably on Friday mornings, not locked in, just keep your eyes peeled. And of course we stream every Thursday on this channel. Hope you all enjoyed the video, thank you so much for watching. Let me know below in the comments if there's any content you'd like to see across any of my channels. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace!